Okay, for law-abiding citizens, they're not gonna like this tip, but it's gonna save your life, I'm telling you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're going to do a car haul. Welcome, so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys some must-have, so essentials that you need when driving in Jamaica. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because you need some things to stay safe, to have like a very smooth sailing, easy driving experience in case anything happens, okay? Because these things are necessary. So all the items I'm gonna link in this video is gonna be linked down below in the description box. Shop the link. <laughs> Shop the links that I give you. I give you guys all the affordable prices for everything. I hope doing this video in my car is okay because I'm doing a car video, so why not do it in my car? I just felt like it was suiting. Also, if you guys haven't seen my driving in Jamaica video, I'm gonna link it so you guys can watch it. If you guys wanna see like a vlog style video of me actually driving in Jamaica and like my tip while driving, what you will experience, all that. Anyway, so let's get into this car haul, these car essentials that you can get on Amazon, Walmart, all those things. So first off the bat, you're going to need booster cables. So I bought these all season booster cables. I haven't had to use them yet, but you guys can definitely take it into consideration to to have it just in case anything happens while in Jamaica um there's another thing I'm going to recommend you guys buy I'm gonna link it here it's like a little kit that boosts your battery in case anything happens to it it's like $50 Canadian so it's probably gonna be less money in US or UK I'm gonna link it so basically with this this is just a cable so you're gonna need another car but the little kit that has the battery attached to it you don't need another car you just attach the cables the cables are attached to the battery that's provided in the kit and then you attach the cables to your car and then you boost it so in jamaica the reason why i would recommend that one over this one even though you should still have this one in case anything is because you don't have to rely on anyone to boost your car the thing is with jamaica i talk about this in a lot of my videos that people are so skeptical of helping you because they feel like they're getting set up and then something's gonna happen to them they're gonna get robbed or things along those lines so that's why you don't want to take no check from nobody and you would want to get the whole little kit, kit there now i would recommend it wholeheartedly one because again you can just you don't have to wait for someone like i told a sto horror story where we were broke down for like so long oh that was a gas Never mind. Never mind. That's the wrong story time. But anyways, yeah, you don't have to wait for no one. So if your car, if anything's wrong with your battery, you can fix it up yourself and go about your business. And it's friendly, girl, guy. Um. So yeah. So you want some booster cables or you want the booster kit? Link down below. Another tip I would have is you guys learn the skill of changing your own car tire, because trust me, with all the potholes in Jamaica. Sorry guys, going. With all the potholes in Jamaica, it might happen once throughout your entire lifetime, and it'll become flat like this tire here. So if you have the skill, take it up, just so you don't have to rely on anybody and you won't feel, hello, hello. Um, just so you won't feel stranded. So if you don't want to change your own tire, own car tire, that will be good. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to have is hygiene items, backup items in your car. So this is very important. I always say, for especially if you're a female, but even if you're not a female, I feel like you still should have this. So you want to have extra rag. You never know. I sound funny, but you never know. You want to have extra rag, extra slippers in case any of your slippers pop up. So I just have these like $5 slippers here that I bought. Put them in my car. I have extra rag. I have extra like simple set of clothes like shorts and a shirt, tank top. And then I have deodorant, lotion, toothbrush, toothpaste, Advil. Even though I heard that you're not supposed to really keep Advil in cars because of the temperature that cars can get up to. Wipes I have, toothbrush, gum. I have it all in here. Um, feminine sanitary pads like i keep one of everything because i just want to make sure man like that anything can happen even if with myself or with my friends and they're like oh my god my shirt oh my god what i got my shorts oh i have an extra like just like baggy sports shorts that you can put on so definitely use that the next thing that you guys are going to want to have in your car are just like two microfiber cloth to assist you with keeping your car clean on the inside and out so i have two in front and like the front parts of my car here so i always have them and they're super affordable like really 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 cheap at the back of your car you just want to have one of these little bins that you put the essentials in just to keep it organized in your trunk so i recommend you guys buying this i got this at dollar tree and dollar 25 canadian for me i feel like organization is really important in cleanliness so that's why i have this just to keep all my extras so you put the booster cable in here the slippers all those things right okay, so the next thing that i got of course oh i got gravel so the reason why i got gravel and this is going to be for a lot of new people who are new to like jamaican roads or jamaican driving because the roads especially country roads i'm gonna say mainly country roads they're very windy right so a lot of people feel nauseous when they're driving down there so i always keep gravel in my car i don't i the only time i felt nauseous when it was like what seven six but um i just get nauseous a lot sir 
I have this inside my car. This is just gra um, gravel. Menagia. Okay, keep these in. This will help people who's driving with you or if you're the one in the car getting driven around or you're going to drive. It's so helpful. Okay, so next thing is a flashlight. So the reason why I recommend a flashlight is because sometimes your phone will die. You need to change your car tire. Here's a flashlight. It happened before. It happened. <laughs> so the flashlight's really handy. I'm telling you guys. How do you turn this on? I'm telling you, it really works. You can use it to fan down people if you want to. Turn it on and off. Maybe you can get a big one, but flashlight you always i'm telling you sometimes your battery dies your phone dies and then you have a flashlight for changing your car tire speaking of phone dying make sure you guys buy credit and put it in your car so buy i don't know when credit expires but i think it's like a while before credit expires i may be wrong but this is what you guys can do you guys can put credit in your car and keep it in your car a flow and digital credit because sometimes like i said this does happen your battery dies while you're on the road your car maybe can't charge it up or even your car battery dies and then you can go to someone and ask them to beg a call and be like hey i have credit i'll just put the credit on your phone and then call you guys never know credit's so important and the thing is why things happen when you don't even have extra credit on your phone you're like oh my god and you start freaking out right but you have to borrow credit from digicel but the thing with digicel you need to have a history to be able to get a lot of credit and the thing is on top of it they give you like 30 dollars in credit um in borrowing credit if you're new to borrowing credit which is like nothing so if you buy like a hundred dollars credit or like 200 you're good so do that keep it in your car and like the process to apply to borrow credit takes so long on the phone like it's just like you have to go through all these steps that's what i mean it's just annoying when you're in like a emergency situation you don't want to go through all those steps you just want to put in the number put in the credit and go about your business so i highly recommend put it in your car somewhere and it's going to be really helpful now another thing that i recommend you guys do is buy this little tool this tool will save lives especially in jamaica so what you do is clip it onto your seat belt i'm gonna have it on the screen it's gonna be linked down below for you guys to watch you clip it on your seat belt what you can do is if your car flips over or you get into an accident you just take it off your seat belt so it's gonna be clipped on here while you flipped over or whatever because you're gonna have your seat belt on right it's gonna you can rip it off your seat belt cut the seat belt off of you and then the back of the yeah. tool you can knock out the window and hit out the glass and it's going to help you a lot okay it's very useful i feel like a lot of people in jamaica would definitely use this and need this because i've seen when cars flip over when i was in town the other day i like i'm just what the out and the people still came out the car i'm like how did that happen i feel like my makeup looks so weird so hopefully it does not oh. the next thing that i have in here is just like a little toolkit. it's like a screwdriver head i just feel like this might be necessary so i have a screwdriver head that was from dollar tree so the next thing that you're going to want to have is just something to make your car smell good now this is jamaica okay so this is jamaica and cleanliness and being clean is very important in this country no one wants to come inside your car because people will talk about how your car stink how your car don't smell good so you just want to have just air freshener i had to buy this in fire so because i couldn't find it anywhere where i live in country that had these things so you just want this clip it onto your car and just make your car smell good keep your car clean that's another thing please if you can i'm telling you jamaica's not the set of people to play people will chat about how unclean your car is okay and that's embarrassing next thing that you're going to want to have is a weapon okay for law-abiding citizens they're not going to like this tip but it's going to save your life i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you so you want a ratchet in your car if you're not i know a lot of people have machetes in their car and they put it underneath their feet underneath their pads their car whatever so this i got this from dollar tree this is not a proper knife because it has like these grids in jamaica you can go to like a harper dashery a chinese person store and they will have ratchets for like starting from 500 dollars. okay i have this i carry this everywhere with me no ramp with me no yeah i'm just joking but i have this you guys can also bring like a fork a taser or pepper spray even those like pepper sprays and like tasers are illegal well you guys can have it and if you're like a law buying citizen you're like oh my god i could never have items that can harm people just bring a fork a fork can do a lot too i keep it near me so near the side here you never know okay i always have a weapon and i would recommend you guys too this i got it from walmart for like uh i think 99 cents they sell these at dollar tree and dollar Rama as well so this is just a pouch for your papers your insurance your car papers and the reason why i got this one specifically let me show you guys this one specifically because if water goes on it, it just slides off of this. It's not gonna damage the papers. And someone told me to buy this, so I'm like, oh, I never even thought about getting something for my card papers. So you guys can think about getting this. Walmart, 90 something cents. And I'm pretty, oh, and you can go to like any stores in Jamaica that um, sell like arts and crafts and school stuff. They have them. I don't know if it's for cheap, but they have them. Okay, this is car spray. Just to freshen up my car in case I feel like the car smells. I got this at Dollar Tree. 
I'm gonna trust it out. I don't really care. And I got disinfectant wipes. And this is just a hygiene thing. I'm just to have in my car. If I feel like any places in my car has little stains, it's dirty, it's nasty. Got this at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five Canadian. And yeah, I'm just gonna put this at the front of my car. I have gum. Nobody wants to talk to you if you have stink breath. <laughs> this is just trident. Dollar Tree as well. Also, you can have a first aid kit and also have just like a spare water bottle just in case there's any cuts you have to clean or you have to put water in something in your car or anything like that so just have like water that you're not going to like drink but even have it in case you do have to drink it even though it's not recommended leaving water in the car but this water will help with so many things you guys won't even understand so you guys can just put that in your kit and like i told you guys i have like extra deodorant and stuff so but but basically those are the car essentials that you guys need for Jamaica. If you guys want to stay safe, you guys want to have a safe driving experience and smooth driving experience. Some people may think I'm extra. I'm not being extra. You guys literally need these things just for driving down here. Okay, now you guys, I need you guys to comment down below some other things that you guys would recommend drivers having while in Jamaica based on your experience or just, just a tip that you think would be well. Have them down below. I would love to know more in case I'm missing some stuff out of my car that I would need. Yeah, so that's it for today's video. If you guys did find it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Oh, and happy driving. If you want more videos from me, Again, comment them down below or give this video a thumbs up, like it up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Au revoir.